In this video, we're going to take a look at how your position on track can affect braking distance. So I've picked an exact spot on the track where I can match my speed every single time, and that's from that wall. I hear it so often that I brake the same time as other people and I go off track so they must be cheating. So look, the second banner, I'm going to use that as my braking point. I stayed on track, absolutely no trouble getting back to the gas there. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I did here. Go back, right against the wall. Now this time around, I'm going to have two tires off track when I hit the brakes. And watch to see what happens. So we're going to use the exact same braking point, but two tires off track is going to increase the distance. So watch. Try to steer, try to steer, and car brakes loose. I couldn't steer normally. To look at this with less factors, I'll choose the bridge as a braking point, and I will just see how long it takes me to stop doing both ways. So first one is going to be all tires on track. So that bridge coming up, the shaded section is going to be my braking point. So there we go. Not bad, stop pretty quick. Okay, let's do it again. Same braking point, but I'm going to have two tires off track. There we go. And watch, there's my old stopping spot. I'm still going. My goodness, see how much further that was? Now let's put them side by side at the exact same time. This is really going to illustrate the point. There we go, stopping, stopping. Look at that, already stopped. Other one still going, still going. 2.8 seconds slower. That is a big difference. Sometimes the time loss is worthwhile to get a better angle at corner entry. It depends on the track that we're talking about. Now, what happens if we have all tires off track? Of course, you could never do this in a time trial, but check this out. Same braking point. I certainly stopped earlier. So, let's put them all side by side. Again, this would never be useful in a time trial, but it could be useful in cup races and even endurance races. So let's see. Off track stops first, on track pretty quick after, and two tires off is the worst. Look at my speeds, almost identical as I near the braking point. So there's proof on how track position affects braking distance. That's why in some of my time trial videos, you'll hear me say as I approach a corner, all tires need to be on track. I hope you found this helpful and that it helps your racing in the future. Happy racing!